Hello, I'm Karen O'Shea, a textile artist and educator based in East Cardiff. In my last video, I showed you how to make a recycled book to sketch in whilst on a country walk, capturing brief studies of things you spot along the way. You could just put it on the shelf, or you could do as I do and interpret one of your sketches into a small freestyle stitched artwork. In this video, I'll show you what you need and how to get started. You don't have to be an expert at embroidery to do this, as we're going to use simple running stitch, back stitch and seed stitch. You can use small scraps of cloth or even combine them with papers. It's not essential to have a hoop, but helpful as it keeps the fabric nice and flat and to prevent your stitches becoming distorted. This one measures six inches or 15 centimeters diameter, but you can work with as large or as small hoop as you fancy. You'll need some backing cloth Calico is great for this, but any cotton fabric without stretch will work. You'll need some scraps of printed or plain fabrics reflecting the theme of your project, embroidery threads in suitable colours, a needle, ideally an embroidery needle, since they're very slender and have a long eye, a pair of sharp scissors, a pencil or a heat erasable pen, a glue stick, pins and book pages if you want to include paper in your project, and of course, your sketchbook to base your design on. Here I've chosen to do a fairly simple design today, just a simple oak leaf. The first task is to place the backing fabric into the hoop. You place the small middle part of the hoop on the table, lay your fabric over it with the grain running vertically, and then push your outer adjustable hoop over the top so that the fabric is tight like a drum. Next, select some fabric and cut small pieces to the size that fits your design and arrange them until you're happy. You can use a small line of glue just to help to keep them in place while you pin the fabric down. Then use a pencil or a heat erasable pen to add lines to guide your stitching. This particular design is quite simply stitched around the raw edges using a simple running stitch. But first, there are a few things to know about the thread. Embroidery thread comes on a skein and you can buy budget thread in a multicoloured pack or you can buy high quality thread individually. Pulling it out without tangling the whole thing can be tricky so it can help to avoid this by winding the thread onto a thread keeper or bobbin when you first open it. It can make the threads much easier to store without tangling. Cut a piece of yarn to about the length of your outstretched arm. Excuse my stained fingers from the dye that I used earlier. Embroidery yarn is six strands thick. I usually split it and use either two strands or three. I find it more subtle than using all six strands in one go. To split the thread, you need to anchor it in three places. I usually hold it in my mouth and my two hands, or you can ask somebody to help you. Today I'm using two sets of three strands, so count them out and hold three in one hand and the other three between your teeth and hold the thick end in your other hand. Eventually it will separate and untwist. To thread the needle, wet the end and then pinch it and pull it between your finger and thumb to flatten it. Hold the needle so you can see through the eye and try and thread the thread through the needle with the flat part held vertically. If it won't go through the needle, you can use a different method which is looping the thread over the needle, pulling it tight, and then pinching the end and placing the eye of the needle over it. Then it helps to tie a knot in the end of your thread, which can be either by making a loop and passing the end through, or by twisting damp thread between your thumb and your forefinger. When sewing, always keep the tail of the thread halfway between the needle and the work to avoid sewing with the thread doubled up or, conversely, the needle becoming unthreaded. To start, decide where you want your first stitch to be and bring the needle up from underneath the hoop to above. It can be trial and error to hit the exact spot. On this design, you need to stitch the fabric down all around its edges, which I'm doing with a simple running stitch. When you reach around three needle lengths of thread left, you need to fasten off and start a new piece. To fasten off, turn the hoop over and pass your needle sideways through the fabric 
making sure it doesn't show at the front, and then pass the needle through the loop that you've made. You might want to do this twice, and then snip off the end. To trace along a line, there are lots of possible stitches, but a simple stitch to achieve a continuous line is back stitch. Make a running stitch, and then on the second stitch, go back through the end point of the previous stitch and follow the whole of the outline of your shape. Here I'm adding a little bit of the colour shading first, but you can add the spines first or the colour, it doesn't really matter. The shading I'm doing using seed stitch, which is tiny random direction stitches, as small as seeds, hence the name. These can be really effective, especially if you do manage to keep the stitches quite small. There are lots of different embroidery stitches that you could learn, one being satin stitch, which would allow you to block the whole of the inside of the leaf with stitches if you wanted to, but beginners could find that a little tricky for this project. You might want to use different colours of thread to represent the ageing autumn leaf. When you finish as much as you want to do, tie off and cut your thread as you're ready to remove it from the hoop. You might want to give it a little press with the iron, and the heat from the iron will also remove the erasable pen. And that is your finished design, which you can frame if you want to, or trim it down to affix to a blank card to give us a greetings card. So I hope you might be tempted to try other embroidery projects and perhaps to learn some more stitches and to carry on your sketchwalking for more inspiration too.